Hello and welcome to our Treble D Dormer series. In this video we'll demonstrate how to accurately position the dormers and how to cut the openings in the main roof. I'm going to start with this roof module to create the attic. It has a pitch of 45 degrees with a 30 foot or 9 metre span. So we grab it by the guide post and take it over to our model. and spin it around to get the right orientation and then grab it by the base and move it into place at the corner of the building. We're then going to lift it up 3 feet or 900 to create more headroom in the attic area. This is a common technique in attic design. We then explode the module to separate the objects and then select the spandrel or the triangle, open up the group and pull it down 3 feet or 900 to create a dwarf wall. The spandrels in these attic roof modules are already on the shell's layer so they display in the model as walls rather than roof objects. Now we select the spandrel, make a copy and drag it over to meet the wall below. Then we hit times three to create extra copies. We now select the roof and pull it over to the end wall to create the attic. Now we go and select the dormer module, grab it by the guide post at the base and fly over to the model. Now drop it onto a guide post. We then grab it at the ridge or the apex and move it in the red direction. By inferencing on the main roof we can establish its midpoint and click the dormer into place. Now we grab the ridge again and copy the dormer in the red direction and type in 12 feet or 3600. This will place the new dormer into the centre of the bedroom and we copy it again, this time type 24 feet or 7200 to go to the centre of the other bedroom. Now this middle dormer is going to be a highlight window over the stair. So we're going to lift it up a bit just to add a bit of visual interest. So we lift it up 3 feet or 900 and push it back the same distance. This will keep the dormer on the 45 degree roof plane. So look for these lines on the dormer roof to ensure that they're placed correctly onto the main roof. And now I'm going to make the garage roof. We select this module. It's 45 degrees with a 24 feet or 7200 span. So we move it into place at the corner. This time we're not going to create the dwarf wall. We'll pitch the main roof straight off the garage and push the dormer back. So we explode the module and drag the roof over the garage. We'll take it all the way to the outside wall for the time being so we can work out where the centre of the roof is. Now I'll copy this dormer over to the garage. Position it onto the corner and slide it over to the centre of the roof. We now need to get it sitting properly on the roof, so we drag it back three feet. And that's it, sitting properly. We then copy the dormers onto the other side of the roof. We select them all and using the rotate tool, we find the centre of the main roof. 
Select the Dormer, tap Control to make a copy and crank it around 180 degrees by typing in 180. Now we do the same for the garage. Select the Dormer, reference the centre of the roof and crank out a copy. So there we have it, looking good. So now we need to separate the roofs from the walls, so we select the dormers and explode them. And now we need to join our dormers into the main roof and cut some holes. So we go to the roof scene, so we can see only the roof. I'm going to create an eave for the main roof. I'll pull it out 18 inches or 450 at the gutter. and then pull the ends out 2 feet or 600. To make it all one roof, we copy the dormers and delete them. Open up the main roof group and paste them in place. Now we need to explode them. This will open up a push face for the dormers. So if we take a look at the underside, we can take the push-pull tool and push out the shape to suit the thickness of the roof. This is going to cut a perfect hole. Now we go on to do the rest of the dormers. Double-click all the faces and cut all the holes. And now move on to the garage and do the same thing. Pull out the eaves. Copy the dormer. Delete them both. Open up the roof and paste it in place. Then explode the dormers. and push the faces and that's it, the job's done. If we hide this end wall we can take a better look inside. So there we have it, eight dormers in ten minutes. And our dormers are still components, so if we pull out the eaves on one dormer, it's going to follow on to all of them. If you don't have the time to create your own SketchUp model, please feel free to contact us at Treble D. We can prepare the design work, create SketchUp models and animations, or prepare construction drawings for any architectural project. Cheers.